Hello and welcome back to your Pennsylvania Dutch Minute. I'm making this video towards the end of March. That means spring is here and before you know it, summer is going to be here. And I was looking through the playlist of all the topics that I've done as I make sure I'm not repeating anything or, or making something that's very similar to what I did before. And I noticed I didn't have a video on uh, Pennsylvania Dutch words for insects. And I was thinking, boy, it's going to get warmer here soon in, in Pennsylvania. The insects are going to be back. Uh, and I think it would be good for you guys uh, to be able to at least say the, the names of certain insects using the Pennsylvania Dutch terms uh, throughout the spring and summer so that you can be cursing at them anytime you, you see one. Um, unless you're a big insect fan, in that case, well, at least then you know the words for it. So let's jump in. I just came up with a list of um, insects. This is no by no means a complete list. Um, and if there's an insect on this list that you... That if there's an insect that's not on this list that you'd like to know the Pennsylvania Dutch for, just email me or put a comment down below in the YouTube channel, and I'll uh, I'll give you the Pennsylvania Dutch word for it. But let's get going. We're going to practice. I also am going to start trying to do this more often. I got a comment from a viewer that I put the Pennsylvania Dutch up there, but I don't put the English underneath it, um, and they asked if I could start doing that, so I'll gladly oblige. So I will start, just, if I can remember, I'll try to keep doing that in future videos. So the insect, uh, yeah, the insect. I'm looking at it right now, the English is underneath the Pennsylvania Dutch word. So let's start with the word for insect on its own. This is both the singular and the plural form for insect or insects, and it's getsifa. 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 Okay, ant. Uh, and you notice I have uh, an E in, in parentheses. That's the plural form, and you'll see that a couple times throughout here. So if you're just talking about one ant, it's a umens. Umens. But if it's a bunch of ants, because there always is, there's never just one. Umensa. Umensa. The word for bug. Kefir. Kefir. And that's also the plural. So one bug, a kefa. Two bugs, sve kefa. The word for a bee. Eem. Eem. And the plural, ema. Ema. A bumblebee, which tend to, I get a lot of those around my garage every year. They must really like the wood in my garage. <laughs> Maybe yours too. Hummel. Hummel. Now for the plural, we're not adding L-E. What we actually do for the plural for this is we flip the E-L at the end to L-E, and we get humle. Humle. So a hummel, zwei humle. Okay. Cricket. Gricks. Grix, and the plural, Grixa. Grixa. A lot of you know this next one from that famous phrase, Kunch du Mikafunga, can you catch flies? The word for one fly is a mick, mick, and the plural, Mika. Mika. Dragonfly? Schlange Doktor. Schlange Doktor. I like that word. And that's also the plural, schlange doctor. So, a schlange doctor, zwei schlange doctor. The word for firefly or lightning bug, firefleek, firefleek, and the plural, firefleer, firefleer. Grasshopper, hoi schreck, hoi schreck, and the plural, hoi schrecke, hoi schrecke. And last word, mosquito, our favorite insect. <laughs> That's actually two words for it. Uh, you might hear either or depending where, uh, what part you are, who you're talking to. There is the word schnook, schnook, and the plural schnooka, schnooka, and then the anglicized version, mosquito, mosquito. Now, I will say this, that out of all these words that I gave you, depending on, you know, where you grew up or maybe your, you know, people in your family, they might have had other words for some of these insects. Um, when you look up, like, in the in Beam's dictionary, sometimes there's more than one word given. Sometimes it's a regional difference. Um, sometimes it might be an older word that has fallen out of use and has now been replaced by the English. Um, so... You might have grown up with maybe a different word for some of these insects than I gave today. That doesn't mean you're wrong. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. I just wanted to let you know that there are a couple different variants out there, depending on uh, possibly where you are or you know who, uh, what, what words your family used. Um, you know, if you grew up with a certain word, keep using it. Don't you know? 
who am I to tell you that that's wrong? Because I'm not going to say that. If that's what you grew up speaking, you know, if that's what your grandfather, you know, said, then use it. Um, I just gave a list of, of the words that I was that I was familiar with, and um, but like I said, there are some other terms out there. But this is a safe list to use. Uh, most Pennsylvania Dutch people you'd run into would know these words. All right. If you have an idea for a future video, well, you have to email me. My email's at the end of the of the video. Uh, just like this, say, hey, I'd like a, a, a video on, I don't know, uh, insects, and then I'll take care of it. Or if you have a list of words that you'd always wanted to know, don't be afraid to email. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do. Uh, that gets you a notification every time a new, a new video is posted. Please share the channel with your friends so that more people can find out about Pennsylvania Dutch stuff. I'm constantly getting emails that, you know, say, I stumbled upon your video. Videos. They're great. Thanks. Um, you know, we got to get the word out there. There's people out there that probably would enjoy watching these and, and learning some Pennsylvania Dutch or practicing their Pennsylvania Dutch. So if you know someone that's in that situation, please feel free to share my information. Visit the website padutch101.com. Till next time, practice your Pennsylvania Dutch. Yell at those insects, but yell at them in Pennsylvania Dutch as the weather turns warmer here. And mock scoot. Mock scoot.